Hi, I'm Sandy, and welcome to Vlogmas Day 19 and Life with Sandy. Well, hello, and welcome to Vlogmas Day 19. Only six more days till Christmas. Oh, my goodness. But today is Monday, December 19th, and we do have some birthdays today. Today is Regina Lawson's birthday. So, Regina, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Regina. Happy birthday to you. Cha-cha-cha. It's also Rod Martin's birthday. So, Rod... Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Rod. Happy birthday to you. Cha-cha-cha. And last but not least, it's Trudy Craig's birthday. So, Trudy, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Trudy. Happy birthday to you. Cha-cha-cha. Well, I hope all three of you have a great, great birthday. It's also my cousin Lori's 80th birthday. But uh, she doesn't watch my channel. <laughs> she doesn't get a song. Forget it. But I did wish her happy birthday on Facebook. So anyway, um, I know I, I said this on my, my uh, Weight Watchers vlog, meeting highlights vlog, that I know I look tired. I am a little tired, but it's a happy tired. It really is. I My family's been here for, like my cousin Paul and Kathy came in from uh, out of town on Tuesday, spent the night, spent the night, spent five nights with us. We had so much fun. We went, Mike came over, my brother Mike and Molly came over, and we went out to breakfast. We went to a liquor store because uh, he collects Irish whiskey. So he was found a bunch of bottles that he didn't have before. So he bought those, and then Michael and Molly got him some. And so it was, it was, we had such a good time. And it was just like sitting around talking. Oh, the other night we were watching TV, and we were, we're watching um, 1883 on Paramount. Um, and we only had one more episode to go, and it was like 1.30. And so we said, do we want to watch the other episode? And they go, no, it's getting late. We should probably go to bed. And then we sat around and talked for another hour, hour and a half <laughs> before we went to bed. That's normal for me, but most people go to bed way before that. So that was like my sweet time staying up. So I didn't have a problem with that. But it was just nice just talking. and It's just nice being around, even though we don't see each other, but once a year usually. Uh, we're so comfortable around each other that it's like when I go to his house, I feel like I live there. And if I want something, I just go in the refrigerator and get it. If I want something, you know, like I look for something, I just, you know, I just get it. It's my house. It's my home. And they felt the same way here. And when I, and I so like that, especially when my cousin Lynn and Dale and Sarah come from Toronto, I feel that they feel the same way, that it's just their home too. It's their home away from home. And I, I, that's how I want my home to feel when people come here. And the more the merrier. And it's just, I just, it's like one of my best Christmases ever. It's really been a really good Christmas for me. And then we shared Christmas memories um, of, you know, like when we were kids and stuff. And th their traditions and our traditions. And it was just a really good time. And I was so glad that they were able to come for our party on Saturday. Um, like I said, Dale and Lynn and Sarah just came in overnight because they got here about, two o'clock on Saturday and then they had to leave to go home at two o'clock on Sunday because they had well Sarah had to go to work and Lynn had a commitment at her church today and so it was it was so much fun having everybody together and then we ate sometimes we ate in the kitchen and sometimes we ate in the dining room and it was um can you see how happy I am because oh my gosh my family brings me such joy you don't have to put not one present under the tree for me as long as I have my family by me I'm just so so happy and so then I went, got up this morning, and I mailed um, uh, my sister. Uh, well, I call her my sister. She's Jim's sister, but I feel like she's, like Birdie is Jim's sister, but I still call her my sister because we're very close. I mailed off her Christmas present, so she's supposed to get that, I think, on Wednesday. I think she's supposed to get it. On, and so then uh, I'm pretty sure it's Wednesday. She'll, I told her, I put all over, do not open till Christmas, but I know she'll open it before then because I know her. I know, who she, I know who she is. And so then... Uh, I when I got home from there, I rearranged my one cupboard in the uh, laundry room. I have so many containers to hold, you know, like 
not, not they're not like they're rubber made i guess not tupperware but like rubber made and so i was trying to rearrange the cabinet because i was i am my if you open any of my cupboards look out <laughs> You can look at my house and it looks very neat, but you open up a cupboard, you might get hit by a flying object. <laughs> I just forewarning, and I warned them that of that too. But um, it was funny because Kathy was looking for peanut butter, and she opened up the pantry and she says, "I thought you said you had peanut butter." And I go, "I do. It's right there in front." And she says, "I don't see it." And I open up and it's right there. <laughs> and she's, "Oh, I didn't see it." But because, like I said, I am not the least bit organized. When I watch other channels and I see how organized they are, I thought, "If you ever come to my house, please don't open a cupboard." <laughs> Because you will have a heart attack. You will have a heart attack. But I wanted to get it rearranged. So I, I rearranged it and fixed it. And so now it's all nice and neat. For who knows how long. Until I do the dishes and have to put them away again. <laughs> but and so I did that. Cleaned my house because it's Monday. I cleaned my house. I went to the grocery store and got all my stuff for our Eve Christmas Eve dinner for uh, Friday. And forgot two things. So i got to go back for those two things. And then, um, what else did I do today? A laundry. I did some laundry. I did my week, my highlights. I didn't weigh myself because um, I went so off plan last week. And I know that I'm going to be in the next set of numbers. And I'm just not ready to see it. So I'm thinking if I'm really good this week, when I get on the scale next week, I won't be in my next set of numbers. And so psychologically, that'll work for me. So that's what I planned on doing. I started off today really well. I, I had for breakfast, I had a hard-boiled egg and some berries, and a cup of tea, and then I went and did my shopping, you know, and did all of that stuff. I went to the dollar store, because I'm looking for a, uh, a planner, like a little pocket planner, which I did find. So um, I got that, and went to the post office and got some mail. I'll show you that tomorrow. I'll post that video, because I kind of long-winded on that. And you already have a video for me today, and at this time of year, people just don't have time to sit down and watch YouTube videos. I completely understand, because I am so far behind. I am going to go on a marathon binge watching as soon as everything settles down and then what else did i do um like i said my laundry clean the house did my video game i think i gained but i did I, well, I don't think i know i gained and then uh tonight i'm going for with my brother and my two sisters and we're doing our sibling dinner gonna exchange our gifts between each other we don't do that on uh like one saturday when we gave the gifts we gave them around to other everybody else but not our, to us because we go out to dinner and exchange our gifts just the three of us at that time so that's when we do that and then I went under the tree to rearrange the presents because when I wrap them I just I buy like I buy like all one person and then I wrap it and put it under the tree and then another person wrap it and put it under the tree and we usually have like I told you this before we have piles of people just that's their pile but this year I wanted to do something a little bit different because I want to see what people are getting. I liked it at Jimmy's house because when I was sitting there filming, I could see everybody's reaction to their gifts. So I rearranged the gifts so that each pile is like for all of us. So like I'll hand out the presents and then we'll all have one present. Then we'll open it and then we can show each other what we got and then go on to the next pile. So I did that. And then uh, for lunch I had a banana and a piece of toast with some peanut butter on it and another cup of tea. And then for dinner, I'm going to be very mindful when I order my dinner and um, just get back on track because really, I, I really can get back on track. I mean, I know it's going to be a busy week and it's going to be a food-filled week, but I can make smarter choices than I did last week. My guests have now left. Uh, they're in Toronto now, Etobicoke to be more precise. But um, Paul and Kathy are going to come back sometime next week. Uh, they weren't sure exactly what day and then they're going to stay a day or two on their way back to Minnesota. So uh, just all good times all the way around. It's just really good times. Yeah, I shared Mary's memory yesterday. I forgot to tell you I was sharing Mary's memory, but I did share Mary's memory. And then Mike kept horning in telling you him, her, that that was his memory. So I'm going to share Michael's memory today so you can see Michael's memory, which is kind of similar to Mary's. It's the same closet. I should put it that way. It's a closet that when you go down the basement, it's underneath the stairway. But there was an access, there was a door on either side, so, but you couldn't go right through it. What, when you went in through the one side, which is where the bar was, we had a bar down the basement. When you went through the, I'll tell you a story about Jim on the, about the bar. But when you go through this, the, the, the door, that one, there was a wall built up because on the other side, my mother had built shelves because we used to eat in the basement when it was hot in the summer. So we had a stove down the basement and we had a refrigerator down the basement and, uh, so my mother would cook down there, and then she had dishes and stuff like that in the cabinet there. So uh, 
at Christmas time, she would sometimes store presents in there. So Michael's memory is the memory of the closet on the bar side, and Mary's memory is the closet side on the kitchenette side, where the washer and dryer and all that other stuff was, where we kept the dishes, just not to get the two confused. But my memory that I'm going to share, which is not a Christmas memory, it's when Jim and I got engaged memory. Uh, Jim was home on leave because Jim was in the Army during Vietnam. He never went to Vietnam, but he was stateside the whole time. He was very fortunate. But um, when we got engaged, my mother threw a big engagement party. And like I said, we had a bar, and uh, my father loved to stand behind the bar and serve the drinks and all that stuff. And my Aunt Agnes um, used to love boiler makers, which if you don't know what a boiler maker is, is when you take a, like a big glass of uh, beer and take a shot of whiskey and you drop it into the beer and then you chug it down, drink it all down. So when Jim got when Jim and I got engaged, I was 19 and Jim was 20. Um, so young. I say it out loud now. It's like David's 21. He's going to be 22 in April and I can't even picture him being married. And, and when I was 22, I had Jimmy. So it's like the, the way you think about things nowadays. But anyway, uh, so they were drinking and I, I never really was a drinker ever. Um, I worked at a little party, like a fruit market and that. And my friends used to like to drink Ripple and uh, Boone's Farm and uh, what was the other one? Mad Dog. All of the ones that, that I could get because I would ring it up. We would pay for it illegally because we weren't 21. But but I never liked it. So I, I never, but I would be the one buying it. You'd give me the money, I'd buy it and then bring it home, bring it to the party or whatever. So, but Jim always was a drinker. Always was a drinker. So my Aunt Agnes had said, I'm going to toast Jim to the, uh, so they had a boiler maker, him and her and Jim. And uh, so they had their drink and they put it down. And then um, my Aunt Ag said, well, I'm going to have another one. And then Jim says, well, I'll have another one. So he had another one. They both had another one. So then my Aunt Ag said she was going to have another one. So Jim said, maybe I'll have another one. And so she said, well, no, you better not because, you know, I'm used to it. I, you know, I'm heavier than you. I've been drinking for a long time. I have a tolerance for it. No, we're not going to drink this anymore. And Jim kept saying, I can drink. And there's no problem. I can drink. And so he, uh, he he kept drinking. And he was drinking like regular drinks. And he was Jim got drunk. Jim got really drunk. He got so drunk, he started laughing so hard. And everybody kept saying, Jim, what are you laughing at? Because he was like hysterical laughing. It was like over nothing. And then he'd stop for a minute. And then he'd start crying, tears running down his face. And they'd say, well, why are you crying? And he said, because I don't know why I was laughing. And then he'd start laughing, and then they'd say, well, why are you laughing now? And he said, well, I don't know, and then he'd start crying. So it was an alternate, so everybody was making fun of Jim. So anyway, obviously we didn't let Jim drive home. <laughs> so he spent the night, he slept with my in my brother's room. And in the morning we were all sitting down for breakfast, and here comes Jim with a walk of shame to the breakfast table. And then my mother had said, um, you know, Jim, I didn't mind that I had a party for you to celebrate your engagement to my daughter that uh, you had too much to drink. I didn't mind when you embarrassed yourself laughing and crying and then humiliating everybody, or uh, humiliating yourself. Um, I didn't mind when you passed out drunk. I didn't mind that we had to carry you and put you in Michael and Pat's bedroom to have you spend the night. I didn't mind that. She said, but where I draw the line is when you woke me up to help you go to the bathroom because you didn't know how to handle things in there. Jim was mortified. We all looked at him like, oh my gosh, I can't believe you would have allowed your future mother-in-law to like see you in that state in the bathroom, no less. And so then just then, as he's looking so mortified, we all started to laugh because we knew that was a lie. <laughs> we just wanted to let him know he didn't know what was going on. So, but that was my engagement memory, not a Christmas memory. But uh, I'm going to share Michael's memory and then uh, I'm going to end it right here. So, Happy Hanukkah. I think Hanukkah started at uh, sundown yesterday. And uh, Merry Christmas, which is coming up this weekend. And happy holidays to everybody that celebrates a holiday that I'm not aware of. And uh, I'm just wishing you all the best. So if you're new to my channel, please subscribe, leave a comment, hit the like button, share if somebody might like to see it. Be healthy and be happy. Be kind. And here we go with Michael's memory, which is pretty similar to Mary's. Oh, I did forget to tell you that Kylie was over yesterday making some pancakes, like potato, were they potato? No, not potato pancakes, some kind of pancakes. 
uh, that she had to do as a homework assignment for her school. And so Kathy and Lynn and Mike and everybody was helping her. So I just was going to include a little video showing you um, Kylie doing her pancakes for her school project. Where is the Look at these two. What Where's are you going to make, Kylie? Where's apple, the apple cinnamon. I mean, apple pancakes. For what? With my school tomorrow for uh, um, Heritage Day. With syrup. With syrup. Yeah. With syrup, too. Yep. We're excited. Okay, yep. no. Uh, oh, don't let Mike help. There's no, what do you call it? <laughs> what? Confectioner sugar anywhere? No, but Paul can go Keep your nose out of there, honey. This, oh, oh, Denise might have some. I'm sure it said yeah, you um, need powdered sugar. No, sugar. Yeah. You can just blend white sugar. Oh, yeah, we could. Oh, oh that's a good idea. Is that good? Mm hmm. Oh, I got some more left over. <laughs> okay, and then what do we need? Um, one tablespoon no, of lemon so juice. Okay, so we're going to cut this in half. Okay. I'll put this over here. So you can't do it all the way. I gave right, you a tablespoon. Use a knife. Mm. And we just see what we have to do with this. I think you're going to like this. Lemons are way too sweet. I'm not lazy, I just can't cook. <laughs> Perfect. Then everybody's getting in the act. Oh, but you gotta make sure you don't have to do it. I got rid of our spatula. Okay. Close. Okay, here's my brother Michael. Hi in here, Grammy. I'm hey guys, what up? They know who you are. They do. Of course, I am one of your stars on your Yeah, show. and here's another one that's competing for uh, comments. I'm telling you, Brooke has got you all beat. I don't think so. I think so. We'll see what happens there. But anyways, my best memories was growing up with my sister. The Christmas, we'd always sneak down because we knew our Christmas presents were under the stairs, locked up. But we figured out how to unscrew the screws to keep the lock in. We'd open up the door, sneak in, open up our presents. We know we had locked the door back up. We had to rewrap the presents. Rewrap the presents and then act so surprised <laughs> on Christmas Day. And our parents maybe figured it out, but it was okay. So those are cool memories. So that was at, on our house in Rossiter. It's got about 12 lights around the star. I still have that. I still put that out every year. So. I have the uh, snowman and the... Uh Santa Claus out in front. Yeah, so that we had when we were little. So memories. So yeah. But now you got your grandkids. Now I got my grandkids. Priority number one. Yes. So and there's Grammy over there. Mm -hmm. 